Hi everyone, it is Miss Corey here at Lee County Libraries. I'm here for our story time of the week. Um, our story time this week is a school time story time. So all of our stuff is going to be school related. Let's go and look. So every week we're going to be having a focus on our every child ready to read at the library. And those include five pre-literacy skills that include reading, writing, talking, singing, and playing. And so during our story times, we are going to do all of those. All right, so in story time, we work on social development, body awareness, uh, listening skills, rhythm exploration, and our early literacy skills that I just stated are reading, writing, talking, singing, and playing. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with our hello song. So we're gonna stand up, and this is to the, the tune London Bridge. So we're gonna start with saying hello to our toes, and then to our knees, and then to our tummy, and then to our head, and then to our friends. So follow along with me. Say hello to your toes, to your toes, to your toes. Say hello to your toes, hello toes. Now our knees. Say hello to our knees, to our knees, to our knees. Say hello to our knees, hello knees. All right, we're gonna go to our tummy next. Say hello to our tummy, to our tummy, to our tummy. Say hello to our tummy, hello tummy. Next to our hands. Say hello to our hands, to our hands, to our hands. Say hello to our hands, hello hands. Next to our head. Say hello to our head, to our head, to our head. Say hello to our head, hello head. And lastly, to our friends. Say hello to our friends, to our friends, to our friends. Say hello to our friends, hello friends. Excellent job, awesome. All right, <coughs> we have a special guest with us today. We have our friend, Henry the Hedgehog, and he is here to teach us our letter of the day. So Henry, oh, let me find him. Henry, where are you? Oh, here he is. Henry is thinking of a letter. I wonder what it could be. He has some clues to share with us. Let's try to guess, look closely. So let's see what our clues are for our letter today. Hmm, Henry, what's in there? Oh, what do we have? That looks like a red, yummy, delicious apple. Mmm, everyone say apple. Yum, apple. All right, I've got an idea in my head, Henry, but I need a couple extra clues. Can you help me? All right, let's see. What is that? Oh, goodness, it's a crocodile. Oh, a crocodile, that's not a crocodile, that's an alligator. You thought it was a crocodile. So we have an apple and an alligator. Hmm, apple, alligator. I think I need another clue. Let's see what we have next. Ooh, what is that? That looks like a little ant. Can you make a little ant with your fingers? Nice and tiny. That is our friend the ant. So we have apple, alligator, and ant. One more clue. Let's see. Ooh, what is that? I've had some of these fall on my head before. Ouch! That's an acorn. So we have an apple, an alligator, an ant and an acorn. What could our litter be? Hmm, if you think it is the letter A, you are correct. It is the letter A that is being shared with us today. Let's practice writing our letter A. So we have a little song to sing. 
and it says one, two, three, won't you write our letter with me? We're gonna pull down twice from the point to the top, add a C to view the apple crop. So we're gonna start up at the top, get your magic writing finger ready, and we're gonna come down, back up to our top, down, and then we're gonna make a C in the middle. Let's do it in the air together. So start at the top and we go down, down, and a C in the middle. Let's practice it on a whiteboard so you can see what it looks like. I've got my whiteboard with me here. I'm gonna try this upside down. We'll see if I can do it. Sometimes I like to put a little dot in the middle so I can find it. So then I'm gonna go down, and then down, and then a seed in the middle. There is my capital letter A or my uppercase A. Very good job writing today, everyone. I am so proud of you. Let's move on and we're gonna do another song. You can stand or you can sit, but this is a song that goes for school. It follows the two families of Farmer and the Dell. Here we go. We like to go to school, we like to go to school. School is such a happy place, we like to go to school. Awesome, let's try that again. We like to go to school, we like to go to school. School is such a happy place, we like to go to school. Oh, I like that much better with the clapping. Can we do it one more time? And this time we're gonna stomp our feet as we do it. Here we go. We like to go to school, we like to go to school. School is such a happy place, we like to go to school. Excellent job, my friends, wonderful. All right, so if you're standing, and I'll stand back up with you, we're gonna do another song, and then we're gonna get started with our story. So this follows the tune, if you're happy and you know it, I'm sure you guys have all sung this before, but we're gonna change the word happy to reader. And we're going to start with clapping our hands. We're going to touch our toes. We're gonna to stomp our feet, and then we're gonna sit right down. So here you go. If you're a reader and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a reader and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a reader and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a reader and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a reader and you know it, touch your toes. If you're a reader and you know it, touch your toes. If you're a reader and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a reader and you know it, touch your toes. Awesome. And now it's our stomping our feet. If you're a reader and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a reader and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a reader and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a reader and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a reader and you know it, sit right down. If you're a reader and you know it, sit right down. If you're a reader and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a reader and you know it, sit right down. Good job, my friends. Wonderful. Okay, we are going to read our first story. This story is titled The Alphabet from A to Y with bonus letter Z by Steve Martin and Roz Chazit. And I have the same book right there. Let's read. <clears throat> the alphabet from A to Y with bonus letter Z. A, amiable Amy, Amy, Alice and Andy ate all the anchovy sandwiches. Handy. B, bad baby bubble ducks beat up his bed with a bashed up bananas and old moldy bread. Clunky, Clarissa, all clingy and clueless, left California, and now she is shoeless. D. David, the dog-faced boy, 
dingy and dirty, tried to look dapper by donning a derby. A derby is a type of hat that you wear. E, excellent Edward, exceedingly picky, ate eggs with an eel whose earwax was icky. Ew, I don't want to eat with that eel. Gross. F, Friday, when Frank fixed frijoles and french fries, his fiance Franny was covered in fruit flies. Whew, I can see all those fruit flies. They're buzzing around her, poor fiance. All right, our letter G. Well, Granny in Greenland has gravlax for three. Her gallant son Gary grew green gracefully. What is gravlax? I have no idea. H. Henrietta the hare wore a habit in heaven. Her hairdo hid hunchbacks 107. Whoa, look at all of them. I don't want to count that. It's a lot. I. Iggy's Aunt Ida, indecent in undies, hid icicles under her Indian uncle. Oh my goodness. J. Josie from Jupiter jailed Jerry Johnson for joking with Jack and his jerky son Jason. Whew, there's a lot of tongue twisters in here. K. Kathy and Keith kayaked to Kansas, though they were told not to by King Kong's Aunt Frances. King Kong's Aunt Frances. L. Lovely Lorraine lost Loud Larry's locket, then found it again in Long Louie's pocket. It's hiding in there. M. Manacle Marvin munched many a macaroon, making his middle a mini hot air balloon. Middle. N. Needle knows Nigel won nine kinds of knock worse by winning a contest to see who could knock worst. Hmm. Oh, old owl, old Ollie the owl owed Owen an oboe, but instead bought him oysters at Osgood's in Soho. What comes next? P. Pedro the puppy piled poop on his paws and Papa Dog published his photo because. And now we have the letter Q. Quincy the kumquat queried the queen cleverly, quietly, without being seen. Hmm. And now we have R. Roberta the robot resplendent in rubies rehearsed her recital and sang Rody Tootie. S. Sour note so badly sung by sopranos sank a seaworthy sloop that was shipping pianos. There's the pianos. They are in the ocean now. The poor ship sank. T is next. Tough Tommy told Tina who tiptoed in toe shoes Take time for tea and I'll try on your tutu. Hmm. You, odd Uncle Yuval, never the sanest, uplifted himself to the planet Uranus. He's flying in the sky. V, in varsity, Victor was often victorious. Sadly, his winning made him vain glorious. That means that he was just so proud all the time. W. Double U's wonderful, but it worries me. Shouldn't it really be called double V? Look at double V. X. Ambidextrous Alex was actually axed for 
for waxing than faxing his boss's new slacks. Oh no. Why? Yesterday, Yuri the Yeti did yoga. Today, he spelled yogurt all over his toga. Oh, yuck. And our bonus letter, Z. Zany Zeno zoomed to the end zone, but, his, but with a zucchini scoring him zero. He got nothing. And that is the end, my friends. Good job staying with me. That was really hard to read, all those letters, but we did it. All right, let's get up. I've got a great song that's going to go to the song, the tune, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. So we'll do it twice. I'll read, sing it once with you, and then we'll do it again. Take me out to the playground. Let me play with my friends. Running and throwing and catching the ball. I don't want this recess to end. You hop and hop with the jump rope. I'll soar to the sky on the swings. We'll laugh, we'll climb, we'll run and we'll play till the school bell rings. Thank you, my friends, thank you. Should we try that one more time so you can do it with me? Here we go. I'm gonna point to the words so you can follow along. Take me out to the playground. Let me play with my friends. Running and throwing and catching the ball. I don't want this recess to end. You hop and hop with the jump rope. I'll soar to the sky on the swings. We'll laugh, we'll climb, we'll run and we'll play till the school bell rings. Excellent job. All right. Let's do a finger play. So this is gonna take all five fingers, hold them up nice and tall, five. So we're gonna go, this little kid went to school. This little kid stayed home. This little kid had art class. This little kid went out to run. And this little kid, kid giggled. When school was all done. Let's try it with our other hand. Put your other hand up, all five. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go the opposite way. This little kid went to school. This little kid stayed home. This little kid had art class. This little kid went out to run. This little kid giggled, hee 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 hee, when school was all done. Excellent job. That was five kids. One, two, three, four, five. Wonderful. All right, we've got another song to do. We're going to take our fingers and we're going to be drawing some shapes in the sky. So we're going to draw a circle, a square, and a triangle. Let's follow along and you can do it with me with your fingers. So it's for the families, it goes to the song, Oh My Darling Clementine. So make a circle, make a circle, draw it in the sky. Use your finger, use your finger, make it round as a pie. Next, make a square, make a square with the line so straight. Draw a square, draw a square, draw one or draw eight. Whew, I don't think I got eight in there. Let's do our triangle. Draw a triangle, draw a triangle. Always start at top. Make a tent, and make a tent, and use the lines and you stop. Excellent job, friends. Wonderful. Okay, we've got another finger play. So you're gonna hold up five and as we go along, we're gonna count down. So this is called Down the School Hallway. Down the school hallway in the classroom, five little children were singing a happy tune. 
Along comes the teacher and takes one away. Now there are only four left to sing and play. All right, one, two, three, four. Can we do that again? Here we go. Down the school hallway in the classroom, four little children were singing a happy tune. Along comes the teacher and takes one away. Now there are only three left. One, two, three, to sing and play. Oh no. So we are down to three. Down the school hallway in the classroom, three little children were singing a happy tune. Along comes the teacher and takes one away. Now there are only two left to sing and play. One, two. Okay. In the school hallway, or down the school hallway, in the classroom, two little kids were singing a happy tune. Along came the teacher and took one away. Now there's only one kid left to sing and play. <sighs> All right, one more. <coughs> down the school hallway, in the classroom, one little kid was singing a happy tune. Along comes the teacher and takes one away. Now there are no kids left to sing and play. All gone. Wonderful job, my friends. If you are standing up with me, let's go ahead and sit down and we're going to read our second story. This story is called, What Do Teachers Do? after you leave school. It's written by Anne Bowen and illustrated by Barry Gott. Here we go. I wonder what those teachers do. What do teachers do after you leave school? Hmm. What do teachers do when the bell rings at three, when you hurry home, so glad to be free. When classrooms are hushed and the hallways are too, when everyone's gone, what do those teachers do? What do you think? What do you think the teachers do when you guys go home? Hmm, let's see. They change into jeans and they get ready to play. They shout to their friends, the day's over, hooray! They zip through the doors yelling, first on the slide. Come on now, let's go for a slippery ride. <clears throat> they pull on their skates for a cruise down the halls. They zip and they zoom until one slips and falls. They play games of basketball down in the gym, high-fiving, slam dunking it over the rim. When their tummies rumble, it's time for a treat. So what kind of snacks do those teachers eat? They munch on cold pizza, left over from lunch, then wash it all down with raspberry punch. They fling pepperoni with all of their might, a gigantic, colossal, disgusting food bite. Oh my goodness. When everyone's stuffed and all fizzled out, what do teachers do while lounging about? Some paint all their toenails a bright shiny red. Some teachers read stories to hamsters instead. Some teachers play Scrabble, some dance in their socks, while others build towers with plastic blocks until the naughtiest teacher. He says, he's always the one, says, this is so boring. Let's have some real fun. I found these old beakers in room 204. There's all kinds of stuff on shelves by the door. Wahoo, cried the teachers. Why, this is so cool. Our own secret lab right here in the school. 
They wear plastic goggles, fill beakers with goop. They grin wicked grins, wicked grins, do a wicked grin. <laughs> While preparing slime soup. Now keep a close lookout in case you know who discovers us in here creating this stew. Who do you think they're keeping a lookout for? Hmm. The soupy goop bubbles explodes in midair with smelly green goobies and hit the teacher's hair. You. And then from the hallway, there comes a bad sound. The teachers stand still. They know they've been found. Who do you think it is coming? Ooh, let's see. It's the principal, Barbara. She opens the door as globs of thick slime drip onto the floor. What's going on, teachers? Now, what have you done? You don't have permission. Oh, no. But this looks like fun. Come in, call the teachers, and make your own goo. Just put some on some goggles and get ready to brew. So on through the long night till quarter past six, those teachers keep busy concocting their mix. Oh dear, someone cries, just look at the time. We better work click quickly to clean up this slime. The teachers are frantic, there's so much to do. Scrubbing and scraping, washing and wiping, cleaning and shining, dusting and sweeping, spraying and drying, until they are through. When the school bell rings and the doors open wide, what do teachers do when you come inside? They stand by their classrooms. They simply can't wait to call to the students. Why isn't this great? The school felt so empty. It's good to see you. We missed you last night. There was just nothing to do. There's that goo on the ceiling. They missed a spot. Oh my goodness, the end. What a fun book. I can't believe all that trouble those teachers got into. Oh my goodness. All right, my friends, we're gonna get up and do one more dance before we do our goodbye song. So we're gonna shake our sillies out. Here we go. <clears throat> we're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake. Shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Wiggle our worries away. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our grumpies out. Shake, shake, shake our grumpies out. Shake, shake, shake our grumpies out. Wiggle our waggles away. We're going, this is saddies. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our saddies out. Shake, shake. Shake our saddies out. Shake, shake, shake our saddies out and wiggle our worries away. Awesome job. Well, my friends, it's been so much fun spending story time with you today. We're going to do a new goodbye song. This goes to the song Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Okay, so here we go. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn around and round. I can jump upon two shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. Thank you for coming to Story Time, friends, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.